Okay, so similar to the question we did in class yesterday then, this question is about Tom and Sam, and Tom buys one can of cola and one Mars bar, and it costs him 90p, and Sam buys two cans of cola and one Mars bar, and it costs him £1.40. And the question is, how much does each cost? So if you have a look at this, we'll do it just using common sense to begin with. If you have a look at this, hopefully you can see that the only difference between what they buy is that Sam buys one extra can of cola. And if you then look at the price they both pay, you'll see that Sam pays an extra 50p on top of what Tom pays. So hopefully you'll then see that that means that a can of cola must be 50p. You can see that from looking at the question. The only thing extra that Sam bought was one can of cola, and that's an extra 50p. So the cola, each can must be 50p. And you can then just go back up to looking at what Tom buys up here. So Tom buys one can of cola, which we know from down here is 50p, and he also buys one Mars bar, and his total is 90p. So if a cola is 50p, then we can say that the Mars bar must be... 40p to make up that 90 pence. Okay, let's think about how we would do this with algebra, because obviously the questions aren't all going to be as easy as this. So, if we were to put it in algebra, let's say we call a can of cola, the price of a can of cola is going to be x, and the price of a Mars bar is going to be y. Then if you look at, let's look at Sam first of all. So if we look at what Sam buys... I could write the equation that Sam buys two cans of cola, so that's two x's he buys, plus one Mars bar, so that's one y, and he pays one pound forty. If I then look up to what Tom buys, he buys one can of cola and one Mars bar, and it costs him ninety pence. So he buys one cola, he buys one Mars bar, that's an x plus a y, equals ninety pence, we'll put as 0.90 keep the units the same as this top one. Okay, back to what we just did when we thought about this sensibly. All we said was that we were looking at the difference. Now in maths, if you're finding the difference between two things, that means you are subtracting them. So that's the key to solving these equations. If we subtract these two equations, we'll get, for this bit, 2x take away x. 2x take 1x is just an x. The next bit we've got a y, take away another y, so we've got zero or nothing. And on the other side we've got pound forty. take away 90p, which leaves us with 0 0.50 or 50p. Okay, once we've got what the first letter is, we've worked out x, we then use one of these two equations to get the other letter, which in this case is y that we're looking for. So it doesn't matter which equation you pick, but I'm going to pick this second one because it's a slightly easier equation. It's just got an x and a y, not a 2x and a y. So if I choose this bottom equation, I'm being told that x plus y is 90p. If I then do a little substitution or put in what I know, I know that x is 50p. So if I put in here that x is 50p, plus my y is giving me 90 pence. To get my y, all I'm going to do is say that 50p has to be subtracted from the 90. 90 take away 50 is my 40 pence. And that is giving us the same answer as I just got when we looked at it just using logic. 50p for x, that's a cola, is 50p. And the Mars bar is y, and y is 40 pence. Okay, let's look at one more example on this then. So let's say we're just given this in algebra this time, and we're told that 2x plus y equals 8, and x plus y equals 5. Remembering from what we just did, we said that our starting point in this case was, because we can see that the only difference is this extra x here, we're going to start by subtracting these equations. So 2x's take away, 2x take away, and x gives me... 1x, y take away y gives me nothing, so I can leave that blank, fill my equals in, 8 take away 5 gives me a 3. So I know straight away that x equals 3. 
I'm then going to look at this second equation and say, well, if I know that x plus y, oops, x plus y equals 5, if x is equal to 3, then there, that must be a 3, plus y equals 5. To work out y, I'm just going to do 5 take 3, so y must be 2. So my overall answer for this question is x equals 3, y equals 2. And you can do a quick check of this, look back to the question and say, does this work? If x is 3 and y is 2, 3 plus 2, does that equal 5? Yes. If x is 3, two x's are 6, y is 2, 6 add 2 is 8, we're correct. So you always know whether you're correct or not. Okay, lastly then, a quick question for you to do yourself that I will check on Monday in the lesson. Just into your small books, I want you to try using the examples that we've just done. Can you solve the simultaneous equations 2x plus y are equal to 9 and x plus y is equal to 8? So following the working out that I've just done, solve that pair of equations, work out what value x must be and what value y must be.